there definitely was a time where I had a 10 step skincare routine that was almost exclusively made up of Benton products. <laughs> hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe. And today I am talking about one of my very first K beauty loves. Benton. I'm excited to lift up my, you know, just my opinion, but what I think to be are the top five products from Benton. And I'm really excited to share with you number one. So stay tuned, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right into it. So my number five pick is the Aloe BHA Skin Toner. And this is a great example of how, you know, Korean skincare approaches chemical exfoliation. This contains 0.5% of salicylic acid. That's the BHA component here. And you know, that gets inside of your pore, helps to exfoliate the pore lining to release clogs and acne and pimples, help just keep everything nice and clear. And this has also been matched up with lots and lots lots of humectants and tons of hydration. So we've got hydration coming from aloe, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, snail, beta-glucan, and polyglutamic acid. I mean, this really is a hydration bomb. This is not like a lot of exfoliating toners that you might be familiar with already. This really deeply hydrates the skin plumps it up with so much hydration, but just delivers that little bit of BHA to help keep your pores clear. And you know, sometimes you'll come across these chemical exfoliating products that'll be like, use it morning and night. And you're like, oh my goodness, my skin's gonna be on fire if I do that, right? So again, I have sensitive skin, so that's where I'm coming from with this. But like, I definitely can't use chemical exfoliation every single day. I'll be honest with you though, this is the type of product I could use every single day to just get that low dose of BHA continuously encouraging my pores to clear out. This is definitely a daily type of um, exfoliating toner that you could use. And wow, the benefits. The benefits of this are so, so good. Now, when I first discovered this product, my skin type was very different than it is today. I was a lot more oily. I was very congestion prone. I was just having a hard time like keeping my pores clear. Um, and my skin was a little less sensitive than it is now, but this was so good because my oil was actually um, due to being dehydrated. My skin was craving hydration. It wasn't getting enough, and so it was overproducing oil. This helps, you know, to curb that. If you have oil because of dehydration, this kind of helps get your skin, you know, really, 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 really replenished with hydration, which can help balance out that overproduction of oil. But that little hit of BHA helps with the clogged pores, which by the way, if you're overproducing oil, there's a good chance it is getting trapped inside of your pores and, and creating clogs, right? So. This is the perfect thing. Oily, dehydrated, congested prone skin. This is also good if you're acne prone. I think this is good for combination skin. It could be good for dry skin. If you need that little daily dose of BHA in your routine in a really nice gentle hydrating formula, Benton has you covered. My number four pick is the fermentation eye cream. And this is a really affordable eye cream with big benefits in my opinion. You know, I've go gone through a couple of tubes of this and I always feel like I miss this when I empty it. You know, it's just really one of those eye creams that makes a difference. And the hero here is the Galactomyces Ferment in my opinion. This is what's bringing the brightening benefit that I get with this cream time and time again. It really does help with some discoloration under the eyes. And it's really one of those more alternative brightening ingredients that you don't immediately think of. You know, you might immediately think of niacinamide. It's in tons of eye creams. It can be beneficial. Um, but I do find that this brightens my under eye area without any niacinamide in the formula. It really is the Galactomyces Ferment. And that's actually even the hero ingredient in some of our favorite first essences that brighten up our skin. So it's a little bit of a different take on brightening, but I find it to be very effective. This formula also really focuses on your moisture barrier, which is actually really important for the delicate um, eye area skin. So we've got Ceramide NP in here that is helping to repair the skin, but also helping to moisturize it. We have macadamia oil, which is moisturizing, but not super rich and heavy on the skin. It's just got a really nice 
silky kind of feel. The texture itself is kind of thick. My tip for you on this, because it does come out like, like very thick, you want to warm this up between your two ring fingers before you apply it. That just makes it a lot more silky and buttery, and then it just applies like a dream. Um, it just glides across the skin. It absorbs really nicely. It moisturizes, but it just doesn't overwhelm the eye area, making it feel greasy um, or thick with oil. It, it just has a really nice absorption. And as I mentioned, this always brightens up my under eye area. I always feel like this just like refreshes and rejuvenates the under eye. You know, they are using an EGF peptide in the formula and EGF really is, I call it the regenerative peptide because it really does help with fine lines and wrinkles and elasticity and just kind of helping to refresh um, your, your skin wherever you put the EGF. And I feel like that's what this cream delivers, a refreshed, brightened, rejuvenated, under eye area in a moisturizing but not too heavy feel with a very affordable price tag and a tube that lasts forever <laughs> this i mean like 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 four four six months you know depending on how often you use it and how much you use it it takes forever to empty so i mean like the value the benefits it's awesome and it definitely is a gem from Benton. My number three pick is their sheet masks. And I will say without any hesitation, if I could only pick one brand of sheet masks for the rest of my life, I would confidently pick Benton because they make so many of my longtime favorite staple sheet masks that I just keep coming back to time and time again. And the unique thing about their sheet masks is that they just deliver quick benefits. They're not just about hydrating the skin. They offer unique and quick benefits with just one use. And the majority of them are fragrance and alcohol free. So sensitive skin, thumbs up right there, right? So let me just highlight a few of my favorites for you. The Centella Goodbye Redness Sheet Mask. This is so hydrating. There's a couple different forms of centella in here, and this is just like the name says. It really helps reduce redness on the skin. It helps with inflammation and irritation, sensitivity on the skin. It just has a really beautiful soothing and calming effect. So that's definitely an immediate benefit that you'll get from using the sheet mask. But something else that it actually helps with is when you get inflamed pimples. You know, the ones that are kind of like tender to the touch and are really red and angry. This really helps helps calm them down. It's got that amazing centella benefit that just gets in there and really reduces the inflammation. It can help reduce the swelling. It can definitely help with the redness. And I've had this happen so many times where I have a pimple coming up and I'm like, oh gosh, here it comes, right? You know what's about to happen. And I've used this sheet mask and then uh, like at night and then the next morning I'll wake up and I'm like, wow, that pimple like that seemed like it was gonna like, just like burst forth onto my face this morning. Seems like it's retreating back. Like it seems like it's going down. It seems like it's a lot less angry than it was the night before. This mask has delivered that to me a lot. So it really is a must have, of course, for soothing the skin. We've got wonderful, beautiful, mwah, gorgeous Centella in here. It's super duper hydrating, but this is really actually a must have for breakouts. So next up, let's talk about the Snail Bee High Content Sheet Mask. And this is probably one of the very first sheet masks that I deeply fell in love with. And it's what I said, it delivers quick benefits like after one use. And the Snail Bee line and this mask in particular really targets what my skin is always going through, which is like pimples and hyperpigmentation. It's like always a cycle on my skin. If I get a pimple, I get hyperpigmentation. I start working on the hyperpigmentation and then another pimple comes up, which means the cycle continues, right? And this really does target all of that on your skin at once. We've so got the snail secretion in here, which hydrates and plumps the skin, but it also helps to facilitate wound healing. Um, it's actually a really great ingredient if you do have acne because it can kind of help soothe the inflammation and kind of help speed up the healing even better if you've had like a, a recently popped pimple, it can really help that skin mend up better. Then we've also got some other really great like I guess I would call them like skin clarifying ingredients in here, like willow bark extract that really help with the inflammation and calming pimples down. But then we have niacinamide, which helps to brighten the hyperpigmentation. Now there's something about how everything comes together in that snail bee formula that really helps pimples and really helps hyperpigmentation all at once. Every time I use this sheet mask, 
when I take it off, my skin is definitely more hydrated, but I've also noticed that it's so much brighter and it helps to reduce redness too. So um, if you were kind of into what the Centella mask could do for you, but you're like, man, I, I'd really love to work on my hyperpigmentation at the same time, then I think the Snail Bee mask is the right one for you. My number two pick is the Deep Green Tea Toner. And you know that I rave about this one all the time. And in fact, I mean, if I could only pick like a top three or a top five toner, you know, I love toners. This would actually be in, in the top of my picks. This toner is so, so good. So as I mentioned earlier, I do have dehydrated skin. So any toner that I'm going to love, let alone say is you know close to holy grail status, is gonna have a lot of hydration for the skin. And that's what this has. It's a nice light toner. It's a watery texture that absorbs quickly and is layerable, but it doesn't have like any thickness to it or any moisturization. It doesn't feel like it builds up on your skin. This is just purely water hydrating um, type of texture which I absolutely love but what I love even more than just the hydration factor of this toner is the formula because this is so good if you are like me you get pimples but she has sensitive skin <laughs> and you can't use a lot of those really strong actives on your skin every single day, but you still want to be working towards getting your pimples to calm down and heal and just like chill out, right? That's what this toner does because while alongside of all the hydration it brings, it's bringing green tea, it's bringing centella, it's bringing H. cordata extract, it's bringing willow bark extract. These are all wonderful anti-inflammation ingredients that are incredibly gentle to your skin, but they are really great for helping to gently encourage those pimples to calm down, reduce redness, reduce inflammation. Um, they, they all have antibacterial benefits to them. They just kind of help clarify the skin, but they don't do it in a really aggressive way. And so whenever I use this toner and I do have breakouts after even just, just a couple of uses, morning and night of using this, I'm like, oh, hey, my pimples, like they were looking kind of angry. They're looking a lot better today. They're looking like like they're calming down and shrinking in size and going away it's really great and even if you don't have pimples I mean lots of green tea great antioxidant for the skin we've got the centella in there with a little bit of that soothing benefit and it is deeply hydrating for the skin this is really like I said it really is one of my favorite toners because it's bringing a lot of benefits to my skin and it's really solving that kind of unique problem of having breakouts but needing to be very gentle on your skin and that's where this toner comes in and I think it'll suit most skin types. And my number one pick from Benton is a tie. <laughs> I couldn't decide. So I picked both the Snail Bee High Content Essence and the Snail Bee Ultimate Serum. So let's start with the High Content Essence first. And honestly, if I could only recommend one product from Benton that you have to get, that you have to at least try once, it honestly would be the High Content Snail Bee Essence. This is Benton's flagship product. This is really what they've built their reputation on. This is their most popular product for so many years and um this is definitely was definitely playing a part in my 10-step benton routine uh, many years ago and i absolutely love it now the snail bee line let's cover this really quickly because this is a combination of snail mucin so it's definitely hydrating for the skin it's an antioxidant it's got wound healing abilities it's anti-inflammatory it's great for not only acne prone skin but it's also great if you've got some well aging goals it's just a well-rounded ingredient so we've got snail mucin combined with bee venom. And I know it sounds a little out there. <laughs> it definitely does. But bee venom has actually, you know, has as rich of a history as snail does. I mean, these are ingredients that were being used like in ancient uh, Greece for many, many years as beauty remedies. But bee venom is used for the elasticity of your skin. And that's really the combination here. It's the snail and the bee venom. But there's some other things that play in the snail bee line as well, like niacinamide, like the sheet mask, really helping to brighten up the skin and we've got some great anti-inflammation um, ingredients that help uh, with acne too like willow bark extract and the reason why I highly recommend this product to anybody who's like what's the number one Benton product that I have to try 
really what it comes down to is I love the formula, but I love the texture too, because I can see this suiting most skin types. It's this really beautiful, like light and refreshing gel texture um, that feels really hydrating on the skin. It's got great absorbency. It is not sticky. You know, contrary to what you think snail might like feel like on your skin, like kind of slimy, right? And like have like a lot of slip. It This doesn't have that at all. This is just a hydrating gel texture with great absorbency no stickiness, no stringiness, no tackiness, and no sliminess to it at all. It's very pleasing and you very easily could, could forget that the star ingredient here is snail. Just like the sheet mask though, this is so good if you do get pimples because it really helps to calm them down. But you're getting the antioxidant benefits from snail. You're getting some of the well aging benefits. You're getting the brightening benefits. You know, you're getting the hydration um, from this formula too. I think it's just like a really good all-in-one type of product. Now they're calling it an essence. This could very well be your serum. That's usually how I actually use this is as like a nice lightweight gel serum. But you could, you know, put a thicker serum after it and that is I believe where the snail bee ultimate serum comes into play because you're like wait what's the difference here if the essence is like a serum then what's the serum supposed to be like so really the main difference is here we've got the whole snail bee like formula happening but the biggest difference here is um, the snail itself is fermented in this now you may have heard me say in the past when you ferment an ingredient you're like supercharging it with like more powers to work faster and better for your skin because it really helps the penetration of the ingredient so that's what you can expect from this this is a little bit more highly concentrated snail goodness fermented snail goodness for your skin but there is also some sodium hyaluronate in here that actually helps to change the texture a little bit and now we're getting a little bit more of a traditional um, kind of serum texture we've got still lots of hydration with good absorbency and no sticky or sliminess but <laughs> sliminess but you're gonna notice a little just a little balancing moisture to this just a little bit more it's still very light on the skin but if you are craving more than just a light gel texture on your skin you want a little bit more balance like if your combination skin then you might get more benefit from the snail bee serum. Now I'll tell you, um, I think that this works just a little bit faster. Like it just brightens your skin a little bit faster. It helps calm down pimples just a little bit faster. But I don't necessarily know that one is better than the other. And in fact, you really could use them both if you really wanted to in the same routine, doing the essence first and then the serum next. But again, I don't think that that's necessary and that's not actually how I prefer to use it. I just prefer to use one over the other. So I wouldn't get too concerned about what's fermented and what's not and all of that. I would just pick it based on texture and what is right for your skin type. So now it's your turn to let me know your favorite Benton products in the comment box because you know, I could only pick five. It was kind of hard and I know there's so many other great ones from them. So let me know in the comments your picks. If you love this video, it helped you out, but you have not hit subscribe to my channel yet, please do consider doing that. Um, I release a lot of new skincare videos throughout the week, just like this one. So you may consider turning on notifications too, so you're never out of the loop when I post the new videos. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe. I cannot wait to see you in the next video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.